Hello everybody, it's Apocalyptic Todd here, and today I bring you a Juggernaut gameplay on Dome. It's the Assault Juggernaut, and I've got a lot of crap to talk about today, and the video is only about 8 minutes short because I cut it at because I cut it back at the end, or else it would go to like 20 minutes. Uh okay, so I'm using the PP 2000 or whatever it's called, the squirt gun gun I call it, uh, with no attachments. I actually just got the gun, and this is the first level I ever used it. And I got a juggernaut with it, so uh pretty good start to that gun. But I got a lot of stuff to talk about today, and um uh first things first, I got my camera working, so uh I'll get you I'll get you the um hardened edition unboxing extremely late. So yeah. Also uh the new Halo video will be coming out soon. But it takes a while to get it because we have to handpick the map and an Atomic Gamer kinda refuses to play it because Modern Warfare 3 just came out about a week ago. So he really, really just wants to stick with this game for now. But I'm gonna make him do it anyway. I'm gonna make him do it anyways. Uh yeah. And uh, Call of Duty Elite, I said we'd have our clan up by the 14th, I was wrong, I was not expecting for Call of Duty Elite servers to crash almost every day. They really should have prepared better for it, because I knew a lot of people were going to be signing up, but they were so unprepared, I was on hold with Activision for about an hour. <laughs> but Call of Duty Elite should be coming soon. Um, they're giving, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I guess I don't have that much to talk about today. But uh, I'm going to talk about some... In the last video, I talked about a lot of the upsides of Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare 3, but I'm going to talk about some of the downsides. Um, one of the downsides, I think, is the support package. Not because it's too overpowered or underpowered, but because it's really, really annoying. It's too easy to get. Every 20 seconds, I'm getting EMP'd and killed by stealth bombers. It's way too easy to get. So I hope they don't include that in whatever game comes next. But that's... Oh my god, that's another year away. Uh... <laughs> Support package, too many people use it. It's literally, it's made the community, everybody, even White Boy 7th Street's using it now, lazy. It's made them very lazy. In my eyes, anyways. I use mostly the support pack, nope, not, not support. I use mostly the assault package and the specialist package. Uh, yeah. But, um, another thing I don't like is the Scar L. I think it's way too overpowered. And I don't like the, uh, M4A1, that's also way too overpowered. For uh, it's a level you get it at. And I think all the other guns are fairly balanced. Shotguns suck though. Shotguns are very, very underpowered. So that's a little bit disappointing. But uh, I guess for people that don't like shotguns, there you go. Snipers are fine. Except there's not as many quicksilvers as I thought there'd be. So uh, too bad. That's too bad. Um, oh, there's a Tom Gamer now wanting me to join a party. But I can't right now because I'm recording something and uh, whatnot. But, uh, besides that, there's not too many downsides in Modern Warfare 3. There's really not that many downsides. But, uh, they really... You can tell they spent a lot of time on this. And a lot of people were doubtful because this, uh, multiplayer was made by Sledgehammer Games and... Whatever. Shit, is this lag? Son of a bitch. Um, is this lag long? I don't know. Better, okay, yeah. The lag's gone. That's the only lag. Also, I recorded this three times three times. That's why I cut it short at the end. I just couldn't record it anymore because of the lag. I wanted to make sure this game was near lag free because I think this is the first extremely good game or extremely fun game I had in this game. I've actually got an S and D round that I want to show you guys. I don't even go flawless on it, but I just had so much fun doing the round I wanna share it with you guys. Uh Tom Gamers and, and I rape him. Uh but there's uh, not much else I can really say. Um I'm gonna try to keep talking. But uh yeah. Also I want um, if you guys could leave me comments, what do you think about getting the Halo, uh, Anniversary Edition? I was originally gonna get it, but I didn't know it would come out this quickly, and I haven't really been keeping up to date with it. But can you guys believe it's already been 10 years since Halo came out? And Halo launched whole first-person shooter franchise. Without Halo, there'd be no Call of Duty, no Gears of War, no other Halos. There'd be nothing. There'd be, like, no shooter. There'd be any. Sh there'd be barely any shooter games. I mean, shooter games would stick to, like, platforming and James Bond. So that kind of that kind of blows your mind that it's already been 10 years. Feels like it's been a lot shorter than that. And if you don't play Halo, um, I don't blame you that much. It's a very acquired taste. Especially if you've been playing Call of Duty for a while. It took me some getting used to after when I started playing Halo. But, um, it's really a great game series, and people don't give it enough credit anymore. Um... They really should. This is revolutionary. It's a, every game they come out with is fun. Yeah, didn't no, not the biggest fan. But looking back on it, it's not as bad as some people say it is. It's really different from the other Halos because you're to you're not even Spartans in it. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And also, uh, one more problem. I think the uh, Juggernaut Assault a little bit overpowered, 
but I don't really have too much experience with it since nobody uses assault, as I, as I was saying earlier. It's kind of depressing. It's uh, really just support now. People just use support, and it's, it's kind of sad. Uh, I've got no problem with specialists. I actually love specialists. It's not, it's not even overpowered, really. Uh, kind of invincible against air support, though, once you get um, to a certain kill streak. Um, but yeah. Also, I hate the spawn trapping in free for all. I've only played a couple free for all matches, but every time I've gotten spawn trapped. So, uh, don't expect many free for all gameplays. But, uh, yeah, again, uh, I had to record this three times, so if you guys would subscribe and thumbs up and comment, or do anything, show me some love, I would love that because I take a huge portion of my day to do this. Uh, and I, because I just love bringing you guys game footage. And, uh, once I get that new capture card, it's gonna get a lot better. Can only go up. Or down. Or up. Mostly up. I'm also gonna get a new computer because this one sucks. Uh, more of an edited computer because this one's great for everything else, but I need one just for editing. So I'm gonna get my own editing computer. Hopefully, anyways. If not, I guess I can settle for this one. It's not the best. People at Best Buy lie to me. People at Best Buy. Always wanting to make a buck. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I want, I also, the, uh, map outpost, the snowy map with all the trucks in it, glitching has ruined that level. It's not even, uh, two weeks in, and they have found a way to glitch on it. It's actually, it used to be invincible for about the first ten hours. They changed it, but I mean, couldn't they just get rid of the glitch in the first place? These, they've kind of ruined that map. Uh, they just get inside trucks and you can't see them. That's annoying. I find that very annoying. Luckily, nobody likes our post in the first place, so... Actually, no, I didn't... I liked our post at first. After the glitching, though, not so much. Also, tips and tricks will be coming soon on what classes people I recommend, or Atomic Gamer recommends, or Sandy69, or Home Fry, or Boomboy123, or anybody, really. Also, uh, another question, if you guys could leave me a comment on this. Do you think it's sad that somebody... At the time I'm recording this video, probably by the time this comes out to you, there'll be ninth Prestige, but do you think it's sad that they're 8th Prestige? Because I sure do. Do they just skip, like, a week of... Ghoul or work to do it? I mean, just sad, really. Um, okay, thank God, I have stalled long enough. Also, uh, the unpackaging uh, will be coming soon, probably in the Trips and Tricks videos, a little bit of an extra. But I'm going to cut this video short after I die with a juggernaut, because um, there's nothing else. It's just me shooting down helicopters and almost getting to my age 6 Overwatch about three times, but then getting killed beforehand. Lots of buzz kills for people. Ah. But it, it gets boring, so I'm just going to cut it off here. It's already a very long video. You've got, uh, it's, uh, around 8 minutes right about now. So you've got, uh, about uh, another 38 seconds to kill. So let me, let me try to kill some 38 seconds. But, uh, yeah. Message me on what you think of my opinions. If you don't like them, okay, just don't send me hate mail. I don't, I'm just voicing my opinions. But, also, do you think that, I just think the support package is making people lazy. I'm, I'm just saying. Most people use support now, so I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail for that. Or, hopefully not. Maybe some people will agree. Don't know. But, also, if your argument is that, um, you're brand new to the game, okay then. Just please search to assault eventually. But, uh, yeah. This is where I'm going to cut off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take a huge portion of my day to do this, so please subscribe.